Hands it, hands it. Can I get the coffee, please, mate? Milk, two sugars, yeah. Cheers, thank you. Uh, all right, thank you, everybody. Thank you, and welcome to a brand new season of Welders Football. It's a season, of course, that uh, already sees us guarantee group stage football in the Champions League for a third time, and we'll be looking for a, a fourth sorry, title in a row as well. So we're all very, very excited to get started here, but um, do we have any questions? Um, yeah. Eamon Murphy, local reporter. Now, some of the fans were disappointed with the lack of big-name signings this summer. Yeah, look, mate, I would love nothing more than be able to sign plug-and-play stars. Uh, but the reality of our situation is that we need to sign potential, and we do have a lot of potential in this squad. And so far, Mr. Chairman, we haven't lost any of our stars that we do have, like Armstrong and Zayanetti. So let's hope that stays the case. How far do you think the welders can go in Europe? Yeah, I'm not sure, mate. I mean, I think we will just sneak into the third pot uh, at the Champions League group stage draw. So, you know, we get a little bit of luck there. Then at a minimum, I'd like to think that we'll challenge for the Europa League this season. Oh, yes. And will we be seeing any more signings for the Welders? Yeah, I mean, look, we have a large squad already. And to be honest, we may struggle to give game time to the players that we do have. So, um, you know, maybe just two or three more. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome to season 13, hopefully not unlucky for us, episode 1 here at H&W Welders on the Impossible Dream. And today we're going to have a full examination of our squad as we get the league campaign underway against Crusaders and their newly promoted Berlina Millard United. So that is, I'm very, very excited to have a look at some of our new players here. Uh, but as ever, we'll start the new season by having a quick update of where we are at as a club Two and a half star national reputation. Professional, obviously, we've been professional for a while now. Secure finances in the Champions League. Guaranteed group stage, uh, obviously, spot for us. And I think, if I've done my maths correct, which I probably haven't, but I think we will be in the third pot for the draw, which obviously should or could help us if we get a weaker fourth pot team. Though sometimes you get sort of strong uh, Spanish, French, all sorts of clubs in that fourth pot as well. But with any luck... Um, then that will be fine. Now, I am obviously the manager. William McQuaid is still captain, and Tommy Martin are still vice captain. Martin McKay is our key player. We managed to get him back on loan. If you missed last episode, summer transfer special, we managed to get him back on loan again. Fulham were very nice to us and, uh, and let us have him back. So that's massive. He is a huge, huge player for us. And the star, the well, hot prospect is now Brian McManus. We have a number of really, really good, like literally the, the, the description is promising uh, players. Um, but this guy could take the cake. He is potentially very, very good indeed. So um, yeah, let's let's hope he lives up to that potential for us. So that is that. A facility, uh, well, let's go to general update first. Myself and Cargbo. Cargbo, of course, back at the club, not playing football, just doing ambassador jury, ambassadorial duties, things like that. But he's uh, he's around, uh, and myself are, uh, are the legend. McDade, surely a legend as well. He'll, uh, he's an icon. And then we've got Zayanetti, Armstrong, and George Mulligan still hanging on in there as a favoured personnel. How many years ago now was he our goalkeeper? Uh, he left. Look how many years ago he left, and he's still hanging on there. And he wasn't even that good. But, uh, but there we go. Obviously, the fans liked him. Facilities. Uh, we still don't have a new stadium, but we have great training and youth facilities. We are upgrading those again as well. Exceptional academy coaching and youth recruitment. So that's as high as that can go. And of course, a reminder that our stadium for Europe is Windsor Park, still in Belfast, uh, but of course, home of our rivals, Linfield. Uh, so that is that. Let's have a look at the club vision for the season. And we will see that uh, everything we have is we're doing well. A minus based mostly at this point of last season's uh, last season's deal. Um, yeah, you can see there we're upgrading facilities again. So the uh, the youth facilities will be done mid-October, mid-October, mid, uh, what's that? September. And the in, uh, uh, senior facilities are just, they're weeks, days away, weeks away, uh, mid-August. Uh, mid we're at the end of July. So they will be with us sooner rather than later, which is obviously excellent. Squad dynamics update ahead of the new season. We have no issues in the squad. We have a big squad, and that will likely change, but right now we have no issues. You can see we've got a good-looking uh, hierarchy as well. Most people most people agree no one, no one hates us, uh, and the players that don't necessarily agree with us, although Miss Kelly and Turpy, that hurts a little bit, guys, considering how much I've played when he came through the academy. But anyway, for the most part, everybody's on, on board, and the social groups... 
we've had a little bit of turnover this offseason, so you would expect that. Um, but hopefully, as uh, time passes, this will all come together into one or maybe two uh, two little groups there. So that is fine. Let's have a look at what the board are expecting from us. We're expected to win the league. We were invincible last season, of course. Broke the, uh, just about every league record there was. So that is... Um, well, you'd hope we win, wouldn't you? Uh, the, the Champions League reached the playoff. We're already in the group stage. So we've already surpassed board expectations there. So that's good. Uh, and then nothing else is important to the board anymore. They don't care. They just We're a big club now. We care about the league and we care about the Champions League and nothing else matters. So pressure's off, really, isn't it? And the rest of these cups, we can uh, we, we will use them, I think, to, to play some academy players. Some of our younger players uh, will try and use it to, as a development uh, situation for us. So that brings us to a bit of a preview of the league season. There hasn't been the game played as of yet. If we look at the season preview here, as you would expect, we are the favourites. We are the heavy favourites, and we have the entire best eleven. So that tells you that tells a story, doesn't it? Really, uh, if we look at the key players in the league, our two players are up there: Gareth Wilson, of course, who was once ours as well. Uh, Patrick Fitzpatrick, one of the great names. And if we scroll down here, see the other key players in the league. Stuart Murphy, he was ours for a period, I think, wasn't he? Centre back, yep. Uh, he's, he went, I think he got poached off us by Linfield as well, didn't he? How he wishes he was still with us. And Will Hall was formerly with us as well. He was one of our centre backs when we first uh, sort of, I think when we first became a professional club, wasn't he? A little while ago now. And uh, there's, those are the only names of the key players that I recognize there. So that is that. And as a, as a preview of the season, I think everything that we didn't cover last uh, summer transfer special episode is pretty much done now. We do have money sort of hemorrhaging out, but obviously we guarantee Champions League group stage football. That is of no concern. We still have six and a half million to spend. We still have... Um, well, we're not even halfway through our wage budget, so we still have another better another hundred and forty grand a week we can spend on wages. We're in a good place, a very, very good place, and it's time to get the league season underway, and it will be getting underway against Crusaders. We don't really know what we're expecting. It shouldn't really matter, to be honest, but to four, two, three, one formation from them. And this is the team that we're sending out to start the season. And like I say, it'll be a complete change around uh, for the second game. Uh, so it'll be Zayanetti in goal, Ellis Kidd, Martin and Monaghan. A first look at Resniak in midfield, the new uh, the new Mounier, Miss Kelly as well. It'll be Scully, Napoleon and McKay. McDade goes up top on the bench and plays who we will want to have a look at is Burian, who of course is, will make his debut if he comes on. As well, Jeffrey Atwell, if he comes on. We also have Lutet on the bench, along with McCracken. And we also have McMenus, who uh, could make their debuts today. Of course, only three of them will be able to make that debut, but uh, we'll see how we go. All right, let's get out there. Okay, so we can see the team sheets there. Jack White was with us for a little bit, wasn't he? Um, and I don't see anybody else there that I recognize. Uh, what do we want to say to this? Um... Let's just play our own game. We should, I mean, we should win every game we play in the league at this point, shouldn't we? But so far, so good in terms of a team talk. And let's get this season underway. I, as I said, uh, we do have a bit of a big squad, as I said in that uh, press conference. Um, there will be one or two still leaving. I'm still trying to get Chambers out. I haven't I haven't registered him in any squads. He's transfer listed. Just trying to give him a, a, a you know, bit of a nudge out the door. Um, so that should, I mean, hopefully that'll go through this episode. We've got some bids in for him. Um, I'm thinking about youngsters, you know, if, if we want to loan them out, if we want to try and keep them and play them in the cup, Scully gets forward. It's a cross, but straight into the goalkeeper's hands. Uh, as of uh, now, we still, we, you know, we have, um, Zayanetti and uh, McDade. Oh, McDade's gone down. It's going to be a penalty and McDade with a chance to start the season off. I mean, he's already got the record. We won't obviously be cheap. We won't play him every league game now. We'll, we'll sort of rotate him in and out. But, oh, he's missed it. Goalkeeper's gone the... Uh, of course, he, what he is doing is looking to be uh, the gold, European Golden Shoe winner for a fourth year in a row. So maybe we do want to try and uh, play him a little bit more. See if, he can, uh, see if he can do that. But that's not the ideal start to the season. 12th minute, get a penalty and miss it. And... Um, the game's kind of gone from there, hasn't it? All right, here we go. Napoleon with a chance to get a nice one under his belt early on. We know that he's excellent from a set piece. Can he get our first goal of the season? Oh, it was hit the post, was it? 
It was difficult to see if uh, the goalkeeper got a hand to it or if it was the post, but it was the post. But we're in danger of going through the first half without uh, without a goal here. Can we give it a focus before half time and see if that can get us going here? Lana 3 0 up, and it's 0 0 at the break. A good crowd as well. What we don't want to do with a big crowd in is kind of crap the bed. Um, all right, I can get on board with not happy. We'll pump our fists, say that we have faith in them. And, uh, yeah, we get back out there. We go again. And if it doesn't work, we'll be making changes. Ellis with a throw. He finds Napoleon. But there for Reznicek. It's there for McDay. For McKay! Oh! Focus, 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 boys. Come on. Come on, come on. We've had a couple of good chances. None better than the penalty, obviously. Uh, but we might take McDade off. We'll give McMenus a game up top. He is, of course, the hot prospect of all our prospects. Napoleon, as McDade struts off the pitch, no doubt getting it from the <laughs> from the uh, Crusaders fans there. But, you know, you weren't at it today, McDade. We need to score goals. Napoleon, he hit the post with his first one. The second one goes flying in the back of the net. And it's the first goal of the season for Napoleon. It's the first goal of the season for our welders. And, uh, well, it's a nice goal as well, isn't it? A little bit more of an angle, perhaps, to work with this time. And just bent it in. Beautifully done. Goalkeepers, no chance. And it's 1-0. We'll give him some praise. And hopefully we can go on with this now. Scully out there on the right is not having a great game. So we have a chance to give McCracken a debut. Now, he is left-footed, if you remember. So what that means we're going to have to do here is just use him as an inverted winger. Uh, we'll play him on attack. But we'll get another debut out of the way as well. And we'll just keep telling the focus. It's a game that we've dominated, but we've looked. it's looked like an early season game for us, hasn't it? If we can just come away with this, with the win, then I think we'll just about take that. Can Napoleon get a foot in here? No, McCracken. Oh, that's a red card, ref. That is a red card. It's a two-footed, knee-high tackle. Thankfully, McCracken can still walk. Let's try to demand more and see if we can go and get a second goal against the 10 men. Doesn't look like we can. Well, a disappointing start. There's no way around that. Uh, Napoleon's free kick was class, but everything else there looked a little bit early season, didn't it? You got away with one there, boys. So there we go. We can see all the other results from oh, the opening game of the season. Look at that. Linfield have lost against nine men Porter down. That is a turn up. Linfield, uh, Lan, sorry, have absolutely smashed Berlina Millard. That's who we're playing next, of course. And I think between now and then, we'll be doing a little bit of uh, finishing training. But yeah, there we go. So Debus, McCracken makes a, a professional debut. The other two, uh, Reznicek and uh, McManus, have obviously played professional football before. Napoleon picked up this season where he left off last season absolutely brilliantly. And uh, there we go. The league kicks off. Wait, right there, guys. We'll be back to take on Bellina Millard. We'll rotate the entire, well, outfield 10 anyway and uh, have a look at some more players. Okay, welcome back. Now we have got another player out. James Chambers has left. 2.2 million off the Kilmarnock in Scotland. I still think he was a good signing for us. We signed him as a striker. We turned him into a very decent midfielder. But we just have so much depth in midfield now. Signing for free from the New Saints as well. And 2.2, uh, off he goes. His problem was just consistency, wasn't it? Consistency and not really getting him to play well consistently in any sort of position as well. So, um, yeah, he goes off to Kilmarnock. We've got 2.2 million, uh, 2 .2 million for him. So that is a good fee for us, I think. Let me know what you think of that. I think he was a D. I think he was a good signing. I just, yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, one thing that I always forget to do, but I haven't, and I'm not going to forget to do this time, is last season's goal of the season winner. Now, at the time of recording, this is the goal you have voted as goal of the season. And I believe it was the first goal we scored last season as well. So it's a nice little bit of play through midfield. Brady picks it up. One touch and have some of that Glen Torin. So that is last season's goal of the season. And that brings us to our second game of this season. Away to Berliner Millard. And uh, well, they are newly promoted. Got beaten 5-0 on the opening day by Lange. Let's hope we can continue that trauma for them. A 4-2-3-1 formation we're expecting. And this is the team we're sending out. Zainetti continues in goal. But after that, it is all changed. It's going to be a debut for Abbott at left back. 
It's going to be Lewis. It's going to be a first start as a full-time welder. Next to Vogler, making his first uh, start as, as a welder. Maybe he's a professional debut as well. Burian will come in to play right back for us. Again, it's a debut for him. Atwell will make his debut as well. Now, he is severely short of match sharpness. We signed him on a free transfer. We then picked up an injury in preseason. So... We won't see the best of him today, I wouldn't have thought. Up Richard will be playing next to him. Brady, goal of the season, uh, score winner last uh, last season, goes down the right. Armstrong and Lake. McManus is going to get the start up top. We'll see what we can get out of him. On the bench, um, well, it's, a, it's mostly guys we, we remember. We will try and give McCracken some more game time, possibly even as a striker. Uh, McDade is on the bench, and we have done a... Oh, he's only two and a half star now. Look at that. That shows you how far we've come, doesn't it? We did do chance conversion training, two sessions of it, as a matter of fact, in between these two games. So let's see if it paid off. Okay, so we can see the team sheets here now. Padre Gallagher, he was a decent right back we had uh, ages ago now. Um, I signed him, he had a little bit of potential about him, but I don't recognize any other names there. Uh, though, to be honest, we've had so many players coming in and out that I could... <laughs> who knows anymore? Um... Just go out there, relax. I mean, it didn't work too well for us. Vogler is aggressive. Have we, who was the aggressive player? Eduardo, wasn't it? At Sheffield Wednesday, it was always aggressive. So we might have another Eduardo on our hands here. Oh, what a player Eduardo was as well. But uh, anyway, here we go. First away game of the season. We weren't brilliant at home. But, oh, I mean, and McManus is injured. Are we going to have one of those seasons, are we, game? All right, let's give McCracken what is essentially at this point the start, isn't it? Hopefully that's not too serious an injury for, Mc, uh, for McManus. Because that'll obviously set back his progress as well. Atwell to take the corner. Ball in. Back post. It's a good header down. And Anthony Armstrong gets a first of the season. McCracken gets the assist. I'm going to say that that ball has been headed into Armstrong and he knew nothing about it. Let's have another look here. Atwell. Ball in. McCracken. Yeah, he's headed it straight into Armstrong. Knew nothing about it. And he runs away celebrating like he meant it. As you would. I would as well. That's the only sort of goals that I'd ever score anyway. Let's give him some praise. And let's see if we can go on with this now. Of course, the thing, you know, is that we... Yes, we were unimpressive in a 1-0 win, but we did win. And that is that is ultimately all that matters, isn't it? We'll give them another praise, but eventually we're going to have to ask for a little bit more from them. Lewis to Abbott to Atwell. Wide there for Lake. You know, he can get a cross in. McCracken isn't the best in the air, but he's not the worst. And uh, his heading ability might actually be decent. He's not a jumper, is he? No, only jumping reach. No, his heading's only six. So, well, he might be playing above that, perhaps. Vogler gets it forward, looking for Brady. Can Brady pull it back? He brings it under control. Back there for Armstrong, and Anthony Armstrong gets a second of the game. Brady and Armstrong combining again. It's 2-0 half an hour gone, and it's looking very, very nice for the Welders indeed. Oh, excuse me. Decent ball from Vogler. I mean, you could see what he was trying to do. He basically executed it. Brady pulls it back to Armstrong, and McCracken, I think he's onside, even if he is disrupting the goalkeeper there. But uh, again, doesn't matter. The old goal's been given. Um, I did toy with the idea of selling Potoknik in the summer, but he still, does still have potential. Armstrong with a ball in, it's bouncing around, and it's Dylan Lake with a first of the season, and it's 3-0 now before half-time. What we might look to do if it's going, uh, well, it is going well, is we might look to bring, uh, that's terrible defending, uh, what's his name, Reshinek, the, the, the uh, midfielder on, uh, maybe play him next to Atwell. I want to try and give Atwell as much time as possible because he really hasn't played in it at all. I was going to say spring training, then McCracken hit the post. He hasn't played at all, really, in preseason. He had uh, one and a bit trial games with us. And we sort of signed him off the back of that. Armstrong is surely offside there. Yes, he is. And that should be half time. Uh, I'm concerned about the McManus injury as well because... I think Picasso is going to be our starter in Europe in terms of a striker, but he was very much who I had in mind as uh, as being the backup there. So we'll tell him don't get complacent. Uh, we'll pump our fists, say we have faith in them. Um, but I might... We'll give up Richard a little bit more time, but I think I will take him off and bring on Reznicek. As much as anything, because he's, he's, he's a new player. So I like to see that... Yeah, I want to see the new guys in action. I'm sure you do as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments as well. Having well, We've seen the first game where we weren't great. 
Uh, and this one where we do look a little bit better. What you think our best 11 is going to be. And Dylan Lake, nice goal on the counter-attack. Tucks it away. He has a second. It's a 50th goal for the Welders. That's not bad for an on-loan winger, is it? Reminder, he did sign a new deal at Liverpool. He's on 16 grand a week there. Now, we, I think, could just about afford those wages now. Um, the issue we would have, potentially, would be a transfer fee. But, yeah, I mean, is Dylan Lake someone we want to we want to hang on to? I'd, I'd say possibly, yes, it is. So Reznicek has come on. Let's see what uh, what he can do. Slightly different role. We're going to leave Atwell as a deep line playmaker. Use Reznicek as a box to box. Atwell to Lake. Lake cross in. Brady header. Oh, it's terrible goalkeeping. Martin Brady with a first goal of the season, though. It's five 0 You can see why Lahn destroyed them now, can't you? There was, uh, I mean, it was a weak header. There wasn't too much on. Cross has come in. There's no power on it whatsoever. And the goalkeeper has, well, he's tripped over, basically, hasn't he? Armstrong playing a 10. Look at that. Glenn Torin, a beat. Oh, no, Linfield may have equalized. But are Linfield going to go through the first two games without a win? And have they, uh, have they fallen off their perch, perhaps? Given, you know, that we did as a as a league drop down to 10th in the coefficients uh, last season, despite the fact we went to the quarterfinals of the Europa League, we really do need Linfield to be at some level competitive, even if it's just in Europe. But we need, if not them, somebody else along with ourselves and Lan, who do a decent job in Europe. But we need to keep that uh, at least top 10. That is bouncing around, but it's gone behind. 10th uh, is as low as we can drop as a league. Uh, and still have a guaranteed Champions League group stage spot. So we need to make sure that, um, you know, we're, we're not dropping any further than that. Demand more maybe wasn't what we needed to say there. But it's 5-0. Clock is ticking down at this point. We'll give them one last praise. Is there another goal on this one for us? No, there's not. But we certainly saw a little bit more from us there, didn't we? Lake, Armstrong, McCracken, I thought, did well. Looked good up top. And, um, well, Volger at the back had a good game, Vogler even. And it was just, I think, a decent performance, that one. So we can see the other results. Lan, oh, hi, Ellie. Uh, Lan with a 93rd minute winner. That's disappointing. Uh, and we saw that Linfield had got the win. So ourselves, Lan and Porter down. Are they going to be a surprise team this year? It was Porter down, of course, that beat Linfield, wasn't it? Now the injury. Oh, it's a broken ankle. Oh, McManus, what have you done? Four or five months, so we won't get to see McManus in action for a little while. Um, that's a massive shame. He could be an absolute star for us. Uh, we're going to have to wait before we see him in action, though. How can you break your ankle sprinting? He must have rolled it really badly. But anyway, uh, Welders, uh, Debus for Abbott, Vogler, Atwell, and Burian. And uh, Armstrong, look at that. Two goals, two assists, 13 key passes. Armstrong is just... Oh, he's just sex on a football pitch, isn't he? He is so, so good. Uh, but there we go. That is that. And the Northern Ireland boss is looking at Lewis, Up, Richard, and Armstrong for the next Northern Ireland squad. But guys, that'll do it for today. If you have enjoyed that, do make sure you hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Like I say, let me know what you think in the comments is our best 11. And we'll be back next time to start the Champions League. I'm not sure exactly where it fits in in here. Uh, we'll also uh, have the draw as well, obviously. But that's all for next time. Until then, I've been Aussie Bell. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.